Hello everyone, I'm Dr. M. I'm gonna show you how to do the West Kakariko, since I got in a couple of requests for a tutorial on this. Uh, there are several ways of doing it, uh, some are faster than others. I'm gonna focus on a couple of ways that are fairly fast and also easy to do. Uh, if you're completely new to this, you wanna know what ESS position is. ESS position is when you barely push the control stick, so that Link turns in place like this. Like when he, if he's doing this, you're holding ESS position to the right, and that's what you want to do with this trick. You want to like barely push the control stick to the right, so that is ESS position. Now, if you hold ESS position and target, like as you slide out of water. That's gonna allow you to do this trick called Wes. And it's gonna allow you to slide backwards fairly quickly to Kakariko Village. And most importantly, it's gonna allow you to skip talking to the owl that's outside of there. Okay, so in my opinion, the best way of doing this is when you exit Zora's River, go to Iro Field, you wanna like move at full speed as you go into the loading zone. So like roll out of here, like that, hold down and roll, target, side up to the right twice, hit A to roll, during the roll, on target, and then hit target again, so that you get this angle. Pull out your sword, and you see this like green line on top of Link's head, that green texture on the wall, uh, over Link's head I should say. <laughs> Um, you want to be at sort of the end of it, like this, and then just hit A to jump slash the wall. And after you jump slash, quickly find ESS position on your control stick and hold it. And during all of this, make sure that you're holding uh, that you're holding Z target. So like this, and this allows you to slide all the way to Kakariko Village. Uh, you can release Z target like this to sort of turn and then hit it again to lock you the direction you're going. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. That's, in my opinion, like the best way. That's the best. Like, that's what I do in runs. Uh, I'm gonna show you another way of doing it. And I'm also gonna show you, like, a slight optimization that you can do. Like when I did it there, I pulled out my sword like by just hitting B. And that is sort of slow. Uh, you can actually jump slash without pulling out your sword first. And how that is done by holding Z and hitting B quickly followed by A. It is frame perfect so sometimes it won't work, but it looks like like that. Uh, so that's just, like slightly faster because you can just do this thing, get in position, and then do that and just slide. Okay. So another way of doing this, and this also works as a backup actually. If you so if you drop the west on your way over to Kakariko Village. Um, you go over here, and you see this like white blob on the wall right in front of me here. You want to be towards like the right side of it. It doesn't matter that much. But you want to be here. Slash the wall twice, quickly. And then you side up to the left. Hit B to jump slash the wall. And hold ESS position. And then you hit Z target as you enter the water. So you don't want to be holding Z, like when you enter the water, so let go of it after you side up here, and then you hit it again uh, when you enter the water, like that, and you can slide all the way to Kakariko Village. I guess as a bonus, there's yet another way. Uh, let's say that you're... You did that strat, or you did the first strat I showed you. 
uh, but like somewhere around a year or whatever, you drop the ESS position. Like sometimes it can be hard to hold ESS for a long time. You can get to... Okay. You go over here, you see there's like a white dot above my head here. Go to like that white dot or a bit white of it. Slash the wall and sort of turn a tiny bit like that. And then you side hop right and jump slash the wall. And yeah. You sort of, you get the point. I messed it up there a little bit, but yeah. Like that, that's how you do it. So it's the same principle as the strat where you... Like the second strat I showed you. That's just a cool little backup, it's almost never going to be useful, so that's just a bonus for you. So yeah, I don't know how comprehensive that is, but I mean, this is not a trick that's too hard, and it's also not a trick that's too important. Like, if you're a beginner and you just started doing this speedrunning stuff, you can just actually just back walk over to Kakariko Village, talk to the owl and take the time loss. It doesn't save that much time, actually, to skip the owl. But yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Good luck getting the West.